Mobile units. So mobile, you think of mobile, you think that it moves around. And, and it does. These are units, they're radios that are physically mounted in vehicles. The power output is 10 to, or sorry, 20 to 50 watts, and the range is around 10 to 12 miles over your average terrain. It decreases in mountainous areas or in areas with large bu buildings, and it creases, increases if you're on water, like in a boat, or on flat terrain. All mobiles in our local systems have multiple channel capacity, so they can basically tune to different channels. So again, it could be channel one or channel two or, or whatever they happen to be. It's actually more like, um, gosh, what am I trying to say? You have like um, Medcom and you could have Firecom and it could be Medcom one and Medcom two and Medcom three and Firecom one and two and three. And you, you may be thinking, why do you need so many channels? Well, if you think about locally, for example, in the Bell County area, and I'm going to simplify this and draw that the county is kind of a big box, and Temple's kind of right in the middle here. It may be that you have an incident working over here, and another one here, and another one here, and another one here. But you don't, you don't want um, the, the radio traffic on this incident to be confused for the radio traffic for this incident, or this one, or this one. So you have multiple different channels that you can assign to each incident. You know, MedCom 1 is for this one, MedCom 2 is for this one, and MedCom 3 is for this one. So you can all talk on different channels without uh, making it difficult for communications to happen. All right, now make sure you recognize the difference between a mobile unit and a portable unit. Portable makes me think I can pick it up and move it. Mobile doesn't necessarily mean that it can move around, or means that it can move around, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's very portable. So a portable unit is when you can pick up and talk into like that. It's the one that you clip on your belt. So this is your handheld. Um, I'm going to cross this out. It's not a walkie-talkie. Um, it is a portable radio. Your handheld portable radio. I don't want to hear you guys using the term walkie-talkie in class because it's not. It's a portable radio. The range here, unfortunately, is limited by the low output power. The only thing powering this is a tiny little battery that's attached to the back of it. So it can only output about 1 to 5 watts, which means that the signal can't travel as far. Um, the, the portable units may be single or multi-channel, though locally they're all multi-channel. Some of the ones though that we use in the Sim Center, I'll, I'll try and pull those out. They're actually multi-channel as well. But if you think of like kid walkie-talkies, right? The little ones that, you know, are transformer walkie-talkies or whatever. Um, those are single channel radios. Now portable units may actually be designed to retransmit through the mobile unit. Remember, that's the one on your ambulance to increase the range. Ambulance or fire truck, I guess. Um, so that you basically only have to be as far as, um, or, or I guess you just have to stay within a certain range of your, your mobile unit uh, and it can retransmit. To get the best signal quality in theory, have the antenna perpendicular to the ground. Remember perpendicular means that it makes a right angle with the ground. So you're, you want your little radio here, the little antenna to be perpendicular to the ground. The next topic I'm going to address is a repeater. And if you think about the word repeater, it starts with repeat. And repeat means that you hear something, right? If I'm going to repeat something, I hear it come in one ear and I repeat it out of my mouth. I say the same thing. So I listen to it and then I say it again. And that's exactly what a, a repeater does for a radio system. It receives the signal on one frequency and then it sends it back out on another frequency but at higher power. So what does this do? Well, let's imagine um, here's your little ambulance, here's your repeater, repeater tower, and here's the hospital. And unfortunately your little mobile radio um, on, your, on your ambulance can only broadcast this far. It can broadcast only about to the re repeater, but you're trying to send the message all the way to the hospital because you have a, a critical patient in here. You got the lights going and the sirens going. 
So you are trying to call report, and basically what happens is you call your report, the radio um, signal transmits over to the repeater, the repeater listens to it, it receives the signal on, on frequency one, and then it takes and it sends that back out and it makes it louder. And then it, it basically sends it out to the hospital. By making it louder, what that really what that really is doing is making it so that it can travel farther. So that you have uh, the ability to increase your range. So the, the goal of repeaters is to increase radio range. 